Hello and welcome, my name is Dreaded Entity, and this is the wrong intro. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Fortress Craft Evolved. As usual, my name is Dreaded Entity, and uh, this is going to be part 14, I believe. Now, I want to start off this episode also like usual by going over some of the patches that have happened since the last time I made a video. So, let's get started. Now, we have our crash ship is now back. He is back and he is going to stay here forever until DJ implements um, what he wanted to do with it. Uh, if you guys don't know, I believe he uh, said before that he has plans to make the ship repairable. Well, I guess first you need to recover it, then repair it, and then I guess you'll be able to use it to uh, blast off this uh, forsaken planet and go to a new one or rebuild your uh, space society, I guess. Anyway, um, I don't know how often you guys go to the forums, if at all. So I'll be the spokesperson and say, do not build here in the cavern. I don't know why, but DJ says you shouldn't do it. So I'm just going to say, don't do it. Because I don't know what he's going to do. So don't just don't do it. Anyway, moving on to the next change. We've got the coal enricher has now been added. Let me see if uh, if I need to research that first, maybe. No. And let's look in our machines to see if I can find it. Pull and richer, maybe under the mining tab. No. No. Mm. Not there. Maybe you have to research it. Uh. Upgrades not in upgrades machines no okay so I don't have access to it right now uh, whatever you have to do I don't and I, I guess you use it to enrich coal it is the coal enricher after all now what that means I don't know maybe it burns longer um, which is actually going to lead us into the next two changes I want to talk about I'm kinda of bummed by these but now pyrothermic generator burn time has been reduced from 180 seconds to 60 seconds. Pretty big of a bummer there. And also energy per item burned is now three times. Oh, okay. So I'm not I'm actually not as much bummed about that one. So basically he reduced the time that it's going to burn. But now He's tripled the amount of energy you get from it. So I guess that means that the output is going to be the same, but it's you're going to be burning a lot more coal because it didn't last as long. And now we need to go straight into basic laser energy transmitters can now be crafted into Mark 1 energy transmitters. Let's see. Uh, I guess I can't do that since I have my own custom XML file, I should delete that so I can get a view of these changes. Let's see what else I got here. Warning lights, it says. Stick these on your machines and you'll be able to tell if your, what is it, what, is it, what was the patch note? It said, if your machine is out of power, so I guess it'll light up when it's out of power, or maybe it will stop being lit if it's out of power. Um, and finally, we have craftable signs. I don't know if you guys know how much about this. When you go to the forums, if you go to the forums at all, I myself need to go to the forums quite often so I can get these patch notes for you guys. Um, and I don't even know if you guys like like me to talk about it, but I am going to do it until you guys say stop doing it. So, DJ gave us a challenge. He had three different things that he was going to add to the game if we can get a thousand users, 
I guess, Steam users on Fortress Craft Evolved simultaneously. One of those was the Craftable Signs. You guys voted, and it looks like we're going to have signs. So they are editable, but it's going to be locked until we hit our goal. So I'm trying to look for these signs right now. I may not be able to make them. I guess not. Okay, so I, I really want to make those signs, so I guess I will have to go through my files in my little custom thing there. And I mean, I really only added the tin, <coughs> oh, excuse me, the tin experimental pod anyway, which um, I haven't even used since I added it. So probably just going to delete that. And now let's move on. So when we left off the last time, I was trying to get this research. I, I did keep um, playing after I stopped recording until the research was done, obviously, because I have to. So let's collect that now. And the next thing we want to get is probably going to be... Oh, I don't know, because the advanced minor upgrades unlocks the next... Uh, like better fusion no uh, induction furnaces modules but let's see so 50 hmm oh what kind of materials am I working with here yeah I got a, I got a lot of bars not tin though hmm okay I don't know we're gonna figure that out later um, some of you with more keen eyes have noticed that I've added a lot more stuff here to our little um, setup, so I just want to go over that really quickly. I added nine more generators, nine more hoppers, and I added a splitting system to uh, make sure that all of these bars are being, uh, or make sure all of these uh, stamper units are being uh, f utilized efficiently. So basically, it's just a hopper. The hopper splits automatically, and then they go into splitters, which feed you know, three hoppers each. And then, um, I actually decided that since the, these three machines, the um, extruder, the coiler, and the, uh, what do they call it, PCB assembler, uh, had their speeds turned back up that actually um, building like another one is not really gonna be necessary uh, because the, it already pumps out PCBs fast enough. And so what I've done here is I wanted to make more experimental pods way faster than we were doing it before, so I added a second research pod assembler and, of course, three three generators to go with it. I couldn't add a fourth one because of the uh, conveyor belts right here, like I do have on this side. Um, and actually, I think I, think I might have done this off-camera also, so I did add five generators here. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I guess I could add another generator. No, because the coal would go out under this. So, I, I'm not going to worry about that. I mean, this this one runs fast enough. Not as, not maximum output, but fast enough. So there's five here. Uh, I'll just go over this setup a little bit. It's just like four generators. Like, uh, let's see, we'll use a snow block. I have any snow blocks? Yeah. So, actually gonna, dang it. Let's put that right there. I'll grab this bedrock. Let's pretend that bedrock piece is the um, battery that's connecting to the uh, research pod assembler. So, how am I gonna build this? I guess the turntable, you can consider that to be the research pod assembler. And these snow blocks, uh, that's a generator. There's a generator right there. There's another generator, one on top. So like a plus sign, and then I have another one right there with the hoppers in the back, except for this one right here. If I put the hopper in the back, it would be dropping coal into this, and then it would be going into this hopper, blocking it up. So I did put that one on top, um, out right there. So let me just tear that down really quickly. And when I left off last time, we were researching 
but we were waiting for that research to finish because we wanted to make some of these better batteries. Let me see if I need to research those. Uh, I guess not. So I think they're just buildable now for us. There they are. The purple ones is the one we want. And we needed to have... What did we come up with? 40, 48, right? You can just count this really quick. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, times 4, <coughs> wow, okay, 11 times 4, 44, plus 4, 48, cool, we got it, so let's make these 48 batteries, but we need our tin plates, now how many is that going to be for us then? 48 times 6 is 288. Have enough tin for that. They would be right here. Um, by the way, I don't think you guys can make these tin plates anymore, and I totally forgot how much. 288. Cool. So let's just make those 288 more. Let's go back to our batteries. And, oh, we're out of titanium. Of course. I cannot believe we ran out of titanium that quickly. Wow, how much is it? 64. So, not really that big of a deal. Um, I'm just going to make sure that we're defended right now, and we can just add the rest of these batteries later. I think this is the middle point right there. Where did that just get placed? Down there. And break that one, put that there. And we still have some more, so I think I can put them on the sides. Somehow that happened. There we are. No. That one was placed wrong. There we go. Oh, yep, I hit the ground. So I break this and take that back. And how? Oh, I place it on the side of the light. So I'll break that one and also take that back. So we only have 12 out right now, which means we only need 12 solar panels for now. And I do want to make those as quickly as possible since it is daytime now. I don't want to waste any time. 12. I guess I'll just drag those there. We don't need the Arthur charging station anymore. And where are they? Them there so they can initialize. Oh, okay. Now we're getting power here. Mm. And I want to stick these turrets. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Um, I guess I'm not Tarzan after all. Oh, no. All right, forget that. Just going to stick these turrets. Okay, I broke it by accident. Stick them right on the sides of those batteries. Let me see if I can grab that back. It was far too expensive. I do not want to lose any of these. Stick some more turrets right there. And we'll do some those three. It is pretty hard to do it at this distance, but don't forget about the Z key to zoom in like I did. Okay, I broke that again. Oops. Well, not that one. Um, wow. Okay. So, if you watch my videos, DJ, when you zoom in, you should make it so that the uh, camera doesn't move as fast or isn't as sensitive. Grab these, more tin. We need more titanium. 
So, now that we're defended, um, I've got two magnetic drill motors. That's right, I remember what I wanted to do next. So let's go back down. And I need to redo all of this mess here. Somehow. How the hell am I gonna do this? Okay. Uh, cause we have three ore lines. So I might be able to... If I put a Mark II right there... One, put another one this way, two facing that way... And... Three? Maybe right... Going upwards into here... into a battery and then or yeah that'll that'll work so I want to get five of these mark two laser energy transmitters um, while I'm thinking about it oh look the lift looks new so that's cool I'm going to go ahead and use the lift because I know that I haven't been using it. I have gotten a few comments about that. Not that I mind. Just letting you guys know that I saw them. So there's three. Definitely could use more. Um, hmm, I could take this one, but that means we wouldn't be able to charge Arthur very quickly. not getting much titanium, but I need to fix this energy infrastructure, otherwise I'm not going to be able to put my magnetic drill motors in. Um, but actually, while I'm thinking about it even more, I might be able to go ahead and put the, the motors down here in our titanium vein. I'm going to take this tube since it's just completely clear all the way down. So, okay, that, yeah, okay, and that laser energy transmitter is not going to anything, because we broke out that other one. So as you can see, our nickel is doing just fine, so we're definitely got a magnetic motor in the nickel, but in our titanium, you can obviously tell that there is not. Where's our drill? Okay, so first of all... We're only going to need one drill. Uh, let's see. Why is there a conveyor there? It doesn't even go to anything. I'm going to remove that torch and put it over here instead. So that conveyor goes to nothing. And let's see. I'll need a better way to do this for sure. So, I guess I'll remove this one. Not necessary any longer. And we can take that out. Why? Uh, oh, okay, I see how I set this up. That's pretty weird. Why did I do it that way? Uh, what? Okay, I wasted a laser energy transmitter somehow. So what I'm going to do is actually put this turret right there, break that, and we'll put a block right there, and put a new laser energy transmitter going into that battery, like that. So there, we actually got, and, and it's not, like, we're not losing any protection, especially since our conveyors are on this side anyway. So now I want to redo this. I'll take out those conveyor belts and then I'll put two more right there. Now that'll that'll be good. Go ahead and drop a new motor in there. 
now we're going to be getting a lot more titanium and be able to do everything we want to do pretty soon. So this area is done as long as we can get 10 well, since this is being driven off of there too, so we need to get at least um, 12 energy per second down here to the bottom. Otherwise, we're going to run into some energy issues there. So, let's go back up to the top. try to see if there's any more titanium for us waiting. Uh, we really can't do anything until we make these last two transmitters. Uh, just a quick note about the lift, guys. It Its max is 12 uh, meters per second, but if you keep holding the home button, you'll keep draining pressure, and it just takes longer for it to uh, recharge. So, once it hits 12, just let go and just ride it up. We don't quite have enough, but this could be a good chance to take a look at our next research to make the Mark IV batteries, right, Mark IV? Let's see, those are Mark III, yeah, so Mark IV batteries. It's going to be a multi-block battery just like the laboratory same shape three by three by three so you're gonna need 27 of them to build it and uh, let's see 50 basic 75 tin so we don't have enough tin for that by far but we do have enough for the um, copper experimental pods so since we need 50 we're gonna drop a hundred, but you know what, well, we're not going to do that first, because I, I don't want that thing to get, f that hopper to get filled up, um, since the machines move so fast, so, since we need 50, we're going to multiply that by 6 to get 300, so we'll drop a hundred in there, and we'll wait for this to finish, unless I come up with a better idea, which I might have, let's see what I can come up with here, I might not have enough conveyor belts to do this, and what if I put one down like that, and then have another one facing down, so that might split faster, or it might not. And we'll drop a hundred in there. And let's see, it does look like there's a little bit of a jam, but it does seem to be faster overall. That's not bad. Plus, we can just go ahead and set 200 bars in there and forget about it for a while. And here we go. This is empty, so we'll put the last 300 in there. Cool. Now we want to go over here and quickly put in these, just so this doesn't get jammed up with plates. And there we go, and we're off on both generators. So that is pretty good. Um, these are add only. Second, where are these going? Okay, yeah, okay, they're both in there. Great. Um, if anybody's confused on why these are finishing at the same rate, despite having this having two less generators, is because the uh, machine I guess can draw power from the battery at the same rate uh, despite the battery not being able to be recharged as quickly. Probably obvious when you think about it, I don't know why I felt the need to explain that. Anyway, let's start this project and uh, let me look at the generators. So yeah, look, they're already at 30 seconds despite just starting up now. We are Definitely gonna start running low on coal, it seems. Still not an issue. We're gonna work through it. Somehow. 
And let me see, I was seeing some comments. Um, and I wanted to try this out. How do I do hollow base mode again? K. And then uh, U to do the... What is this called? I don't know. We're going to press left control to go into tactical mode, right? And this is going to show us the turret radiuses for all all the turrets. So you can see we are pretty well defended. Uh, now I'll press K to close that and I just want to, let's see, yeah, okay. What's the range of these? 20. Oh, okay, yeah, that works out perfectly then. Uh, for some reason I thought they were only 18. I could I don't know why. Oh, oh! How many batteries do I have? Five? So, these turrets... Um... Well... Frankly, they're not really helping us anymore now that we've got these awesome... Awesome batteries powering the turrets with each of with their own dedicated solar. Uh, however, we're just gonna leave them for now until we get the rest of this done. I guess I don't really need to get rid of them. They're just not really helping us anymore. Let me grab one more titanium bar so we don't run out and lose our spot for our bars. Uh, what was that? Oh yeah, these. And we needed two more. So I let's try to make this work. I don't know if it will, but we can certainly try. Kind of got to do this fast too, because I don't want to run out of energy in my stuff. So we'll place one there, put that there, and then we want it to go straight up into here, right? So we'll place another those, and I want to use basic batteries, unless I have a Mark II battery. Doesn't seem like I do, so I'm gonna replace that in my hot bar. Break this, put a battery there. So now uh, I can go ahead and uh, I guess I need to replace the turret on it. And I can break this stuff. Let's dig out a little path right there for that. Uh huh. Break those. So now we've got 40 energy per second coming up to here, to this point. Um, which is actually all we need all we need so I'm gonna put that there stick a oh uh well all right I'm gonna put a laser energy transmitter going there I can get rid of this repeater now That'll put another 10 energy. And since that's separate, uh, I think. I think I'm good. And then, actually, if I wanted to get really cool, I can put a battery, a laser energy transmitter going there to power that drill directly and remove these. So I think that's what I'm going to go with, because I'm super uber cool. And do I have another motor? Oh, I do. But maybe I should put it in the gold. Well, I have lots of gold now, so maybe we don't need to worry about that. Now that this drill is empty, oh, now that I'm thinking about it, let me scan this. Okay, we still have 167,000. Let's just round that to 168,000. Or in there, 168,000. We'll divide that by 40. Not by 1. By 40. And so we still have about 4,000 bars left in this vein before we need to worry. Let me go ahead and drop a new motor in there. And we'll call it a day down here. So that's pretty neat. We actually used less laser energy transmitters than I thought we would need. 
and cleaned up this little area quite a bit. So, good job, boys. Job well done. And so now we have mm, magnetic motor there, there, magnetic motor there, magnetic motor there, and a magnetic motor in iron. Right, I just put one in the iron, but did I have one in the tin? Yes. So, that just leaves lithium and gold. I need to make two more. That's what I'm trying to say. So. It's okay, buddy. I'll use you. <laughs> Now I'm going to try to use this lift more. I have been getting some comments lately because every time I'm grappling by I'm always like, oh lift, watch out, don't kill me. But you know, it's really not that big of a deal. Okay, two more magnetic motors. We need to start from the basic motors. And it, oh, I already have one. Yes, where is it? There. So I'm going to go ahead and make one more and then we'll make two of those and then finally the magnetic motors. Now this is probably where we're going to stop on those motors. Um, if you watch the ore veins, like the ones that have magnetic drill motors, they're already getting blocked up. Um, that's caused by these Mark II. Right, those are Mark II. T2 force induction modules. Um, eventually we're gonna put a T3 force induction module there and then there's going to be a very slight delay, like a pause before we get our next, uh, I guess, shipment of ores. Uh, but it is so short of a pause that it would not be worth it actually at all to try to merge two ores onto one um, ore vein and then split them out later. Um, just because if you did do that you'd have to um, make a hopper dispensing system that has a double conveyor line on it to get everything out as fast as it's coming in and then even then you'll still have a backup. So we're back down here. Stutter there caused me to hit the ground too hard. And let's see, two drills in here. Which one do I want to... Uh, yeah, that one will make it look nicer. And I wonder if I should leave it. No, that won't be good. I'm gonna have to change that. Hmm. But I don't have any conveyors. Oh, geez. Okay, I'll put that there. And actually, this will work just fine. Five conveyors that I do have. I'll put it in there like that. That'll be good. I guess I probably shouldn't forget the motor. And we're done with that one. So we're going to go back up to our lithium and drop this last motor where it was intended to be. Oh, wrong stop. That's the iron. This, see, this is why those signs would be so useful. Just because, like, I've been playing in this world for... 30 hours and I still don't have it memorized. So, signs, yes. Make them craft uh, editable. They're already craftable, apparently, even though I can't make them for some reason. So, there you have it. We got maximum ore production. And within 30 seconds, I'm going to be able to see the fruits of that labor with fully saturated conveyor lines. And that's going to be really neat to see. Let me run back up to the top. Uh, I wonder if those experimental pods are done yet. I still need more tin. 
We'll need a lot more tin. But what if what if I say made like twenty five at a time? That would probably I should have enough materials to do that, right? So twenty five pods, you need fifty for the PCBs. Twenty five times six, and you need a hundred and fifty for the um, the plates. So two hundred. Oh, okay. So I'd only need six hundred bars to make all seventy-five. Uh, hmm. Maybe, maybe we'll just wait on that. Ah, I'm not sure, but I do know we are seriously running out of coal here. Um, don't have much coal. Did I build that over here? No, I didn't. Okay, so that's in the other world. So, another uh, psychic uh, injection from another being has entered my brain, and they have told me that there's a coal vein right around here. So, we're going to uh, mine that. to get coal. How much is it? They didn't tell me how much it is, but 300,000. So just divide that by 10. That's 30,000 coal. That's a lot of coal. We don't have to divide it by 40 because we're not making bars out of this coal. That's why. So I'll make a couple more storage hoppers um since since this is like a coal depot it's pretty cool because we don't have to daisy chain our hoppers with like conveyor belts in between them like we have to do this weird thing here with the staircase but since it's just raw ore we can just put the hoppers next to each other and that'll work just fine They'll share the ore, like they should always be doing, no matter what material it is, DJ. And we need to make another motor because I want this stuff fast. Unless we already made one down, oh, we might have already made a coal motor, but it's okay. We'll probably be making a few more little depots like this in the future. So let's put an ore extractor down. We'll just go ahead and upgrade that now. Um, and we'll put our hoppers like that. I want that one there. And, hmm, hmm, no. I'll just stick that there. Okay, so unfortunately I forgot to grab the generator with the middle mouse button while we were up there. So I'm gonna have to do that right there we go, right there. Stick that. Uh-huh. And then um Yes, we'll go ahead and seed this a little bit. There we go. Now just take that back and then this is good. It's good. We can just leave and we'll come back later, collect our seven hundred coal. Maybe put some more storage hoppers down. All right, now this this will be pretty fun. Let me see. Uh, well, it won't. The attack won't get here for a while. So I do want to see this in action. I mean, I've already seen it in action, like even better. But I want to show you guys this. Now here is our base threat. It's now. 1400% that is a lot uh, and it's because we added all these other motors in there actually I'm not sure if it if that's the cause of it because I don't know how much it always was to begin with and so now you can see here is the fruit of our labor and I can already tell something is wrong with our lithium and our iron 
because it is being staggered and not brought up as all one unit like this. And if you look at the gold, this is what I mean about there being a slight delay. Um, I believe when I get the next level of induction modules, the uh, furnace will be able to smelt pretty much almost as fast as you can bring it ore. So that that no delay right here will actually turn into a little bit of a delay in the future. So let me drop back down here. Um, I need to fix this with the yeah with the two conveyor belts that I have which okay that's not gonna work so I need to go back up and get some more now I am trying to be consh conscious conch conscience uh, uh, no I don't I don't know what word I'm trying to use. But I am trying to uh, not use up all of our tin. So I think we're just going to make 25 of them. Oh, and here's our attack. So there we go. The, uh, where can I stay? Yeah, I can get in here. Yeah, that looks good. Now these wasps can barely even get to, whoa, was that a purple one? And that's a green one. Wow, that's pretty cool. Different colored wasps. Who'da thunk it. Got spider bro over here, he's taking him out. He's come a long way. He used to be really bad. Um, now that we've got our conveyor belts, let's go back down. Let's fix those ore lines. What is going on? Grappling hook was just pulling me around. Okay, so. Ah, it's out of energy. Oh no. Okay, I know what's causing this is because I am not generating enough power. That it's really not good. I need to fix that soon. Very soon, actually. So let's see. But I, I guess it's it's all right because if there was ore coming through here, it would be kind of a pain. Just in case I need to break any conveyor belts. So there we go. Now that is fixed. And we need to fix this one, and we're going to do that just by, there's two, and there we go. So all you need, when you split out of a hopper like this, all you need is two, and then one more conveyor belt to add it back into the stream, and that's it. And you'll get fully saturated ore line. Okay, so now... Let's go and fix our energy issues. So we'll ride my best friend back up to the top. I use him every time I come back to the surface. And, and that is not a lie. Okay, so we can clearly see here that we only have... 30 power per second at a maximum coming up or com going down plus whatever the the central power hub makes which I have no idea what that is oh this is also a problem we actually don't even have coal in these generators so that's a pretty big problem there let's get those started that's uh... Yeah, hmm. It, well, no, I don't think that's going to fix our problem. However, uh, let's see. I 
I guess I could use these batteries in the short term. Put one there and then one more there. Separate those. See, this will allow me to get the, the 40 energy down. Um, and I can drive another... Actually, I can drive a lot of generators this way. So let's see, I can put one, two, three, four, five, six generators. Uh, there's already three right there, so I can make another three. Oh, where are they? Oh, under energy. Here we go. But they do use nine tin bars each. So, um, you know what? This is worth it. But we only need 40 energy per second, so I'm just going to make one. And that way, I'll remove these, and this battery can just, uh... You know what, I'm actually just going to separate this. Okay, so we just lost. Now, I think what happened here is that I got overrun, because there's only six turrets I can fire at a time, which is a lot, but I guess it was not enough. So now what I'm going to do is like that, and this is going to be a little bit high maintenance because I'm going to have to keep coming back to feed these hoppers because they're going to be running two generators each, but this should solve all of our problems, right, because this is going to make 20 energy per second, the laser energy transmitter is going to push that into the next battery and then this one's going to make another 20 energy per second and then this laser energy transmitter is going to take the 40 energy and just push it on down. So a little unfortunate that we ran out of energy there, however I can I can give the system whatever we've got and it's actually, <laughs> it's actually not going to help very much um, what will probably help more... Well, that's weird, because there's tin, there's iron still coming up, but now there's no lithium, so... I must have connected something wrong. I need to take a look. I'm gonna remove these blocks here, so I can just run straight up this little dangerous catwalk. Let's see. Now... Ah, okay. Yeah, that's why this is running low on power. Uh, batteries seem to have a really bad share rate. So, I'm going to break this, put that there, grab one of those, stick that there. Uh huh, break this one, and then break that, and everything should be good. Also, I'm going to give this some power. I don't want it drawing off of those, uh, generators that we just set up as much as as much as possible of course and I'll just go ahead and drop some more in here just to get that set up real nice um, this battery's full this guy's still full so we are good as long as I can get out of here well there you have it So now let's see what other tin I can grab. Actually, let me grab this coal out of here. Uh huh. So, when you're grabbing coal out of something like this, you want to start. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I did not put a magnetic motor head in here, which is actually a good thing. And look, there's not even that much coal here anyway left. So. There's still a good 400 though, which just happens to be how much this storage can hold. So next time I come here to grab all of this ore, this vein will be gone. And I'm okay with that since we already have a new vein. Give me a break. Okay, there we go. So we got all the coal. 
let's get our lift back. Man, this guy had an update, man. He looks really good. Wow. Looks better in red, I guess. Now let's go back. Wow, hold on. Just a minute. Okay. Our does that look staggered to you guys? It does to me, and I don't like that at all. Because we are wasting transport time. Alright, I, I thought this was... Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's definitely staggered. And this one is staggered, too. So, like, it's, it's cool because you're getting a constant amount but at the same time it's also not cool because you're wasting transport time uh, so let's see if this will solve all of my issues and it does yep so just like I said earlier with the iron guys you got two transports and then one to one conveyor belt to merge the line back we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this. Um, I need to get up here. This one uh, might be even easier. I might even be able to do it like that. Yeah, there we go. That worked. Uh, this is running out of energy somehow. Oh uh, yeah, because of the... Mm. The good news is that since I have an excess, yeah, okay, yeah, so the good news is that since I have an excess of these laser energy transmitter ones, um, I can build something like this, right? That's probably more complicated than it should ever be, but it will stop. There, oh, I can remove that one now. Cool. And this will stop that from happening. What, what just happened? Okay, and it seems that we are, in fact, gaining energy now. Let me just put some in there just to... Okay, so we're not gaining energy. We are losing it. Uh, here, oh, here's our drop down. Oh, come on, lift. Let me get down in there. Let me get in there, buddy. Okay, let's see just how far down we're out of energy. So we're down out of energy here. D out of energy here, too. Wow. What was that? And also out of energy there. So maybe we need to go the rest of the way down. Let me go down to the bottom. Oh, that's as far as this one goes. No big deal. And... Where's that? Uh, well, this is still powered. It, uh, that doesn't use much power anyway, so... There's, like, no drain there, so that's probably why. Um, okay, so this is still powered, but this is powered... Uh, a special way. Also, it never... Oh, that's right. It's not even using energy. Because it's off. Okay, come on. Let me up. Oh, wait. We did this. Oh, but we didn't do it good enough. So I'll take those building materials. And let's see... So it seems that we're having an issue here now. We don't have much power to give though
Let's see what we got. Mm. Mm-hmm. This one's still full. Oh, here we are. So it's just this one that's having an issue. Um, which means that... Oh, it is gaining more. Good, finally. So what we can do is we can just dump some more of what we've got in here. And that'll just make it uh, even sooner. There we go. It's starting to fill up now. That'll just mean that this little energy shortage will end even sooner than it would have if we just left it alone. Because, um, you guys gotta think that we're running on a very thin margin of waste, wasted energy, um, because we do have, oh, maybe we don't even have enough energy. Let me think for a second, because these seven... Okay, calculator time. Those seven drills are using 3.79 joules per second. That's 27.79 plus another 3 point... Oh, no, not 3.7. Uh, 27.79 plus... 27.79. Plus point three nine plus point three point three. Actually that's only twenty eight point ninety six joules per second, so we should be making plenty of energy actually. I don't know. The issue is we're gonna sit Arthur in there and we're gonna stand next to him to because he's gonna grab the energy out whoa, this oh this battery's empty. Oh, that's not good, because... Oh, that's really not good. Get out of there, Arthur. Oh, jeez. I might have just made a shortage. Yeah, I did. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, for now... Yeah, that's gonna be the way that is. So that's already 78. Oh, let me grab some bars. Hopefully we'll have enough tin now. We have 361, yeah, we'll... Oh no, we needed 600, right? So we were close, but not quite there. The good news is that we can do... 50. See, those 50 are done now. No, those 25 are done. So we can make 50 tin bars by dropping 200 in there. Uh, we'll just let that go for a little while. Oh, these are both going to finish at the same time because I didn't stagger them. Let's see. We'll let this tin... Hmm... Okay, because there's... So there's a hundred in there. To leave enough room for six. So you need to use at least six pods. Or six PCBs, which means you need to make three experimental pods times 6 is 18. So... I don't... I don't... even... Actually, I don't even know where I was going with that, so never mind. Let's put this tin in there, because we have enough ore, or enough tin plates. I was, See, I, what I was trying to do is I was trying to figure out how many 
tin plates I needed to put in here so that it wouldn't get jammed up with the with the PCBs like even if all 100 PCBs went into there it wouldn't matter because you would have enough tin plates to make the three experimental pods you would need to let six more plates come in and prevent a jam. Does that make sense? Maybe not, I don't know. Okay, so uh, I kind of want to... Here we go. Okay, so we're going to do this. It's going to be Splitting Stacks Part 2. I have read a lot of your guys' comments. You seem to have the stack splitting figured out way better than I do. And apparently the way that it works is that it checks from right to left and it checks the columns, right? That's the vertical lines, the columns, just like a column on a building vertically. So by putting the stacks like this, it should take this 50 first, then take this 50 before getting back to the main stack. Let's see if that works. There's 50 and... Yes, and then there's the other 50. So now I think, I think what was causing the issue in the last episode was because I was trying to split my stack like this, right? And it was like, oh, I'm gonna take 25, like that. And let's just do a quick test, and it does not work like that, right? Now let's move this 25 right there, and guess what it does? Okay. So now that I've figured that out. There should be no more frustrating stack separation. Uh, figure that out with your guys' help, of course. There should be no more frustrating stack separating. Let's see, didn't quite get another 200 bars. Which I do need. How can I get this quickly? If I just sit here and hold Q... No, that's... <laughs> Nah, that's not going to cut it. So, let's see. What am I going to do in the next episode, guys? I think we're going to go ahead and try to make that mining upgrade to get a better furnace. And that's going to allow us to get more materials which is going to allow us to do a different research faster without having to sit here wait. Oh, look at that. We also have lots of titanium. So maybe we can make some more power storage blocks. And this is the cool part that since it uses these tin plates right there is that I don't ever have to keep track of how many that I've already made. Right? I just keep making them until I'm out of plates and then that's the right amount. See, does that make sense? So, I'm just going to make them until I run out of titanium. There we go. And I've made five more. Uh, which means I can put two more, two more on each side. Oh, I don't have enough solar panels, do I? Uh, can I reach that? Yes. Oh, I can make lots of solar panels. For now, let's just make the eight that we're going to use, though. There's eight. Break that, break that, that one. Huh? Okay. Let's grab these batteries. Stick them there. Um. Oh, wow, look. This is more accurate now. It shows you in decimals how much power you're getting. And then we'll do this one. Okay, now we're not trying to waste any of our energy generation. So let's put these not right there. So, oh. And there we go. So I really like to hear the batteries like sp like spinning up. I, don't know. I guess that's not the right word for it, but that's what it sounds like to me. 
And then finally, oh, I don't know why I keep doing that, but... So... Trying to jump off the corner right there, so I'm actually just going to fix that right now. It's the build to me. Of course, you guys know how to do that. You hold left control, and then you click. Uh, you hold left control with your block of choice selected, of course. And there we go. So now every time I jump off the corner, I won't have to um, pretend I'm Tarzan. And try to grab onto something really quick. So, that is misplaced. We'll put a turret there and a turret there. And guys, you really want to get these turrets up before your daylight ends because they do suck up a good amount of power from the battery and you want that to be recharged before nighttime just in case there is an attack. Here we go. So, we did some good stuff today. We got all of our all of our ore extractors filled up with magnetic drill motors and we worked out any kinks that we have in our system. We improved our defense, finished our research. We're starting a new research. This is out of power. I really cannot wait until we get this next battery. And we're going to need another 600. Wow. Uh, we're going to need another 600 titanium bars to finish that, of course, because it's 75. 75 times 8 is, I, I guess, that's 600. I'm going to figure that out right now. 75 times 8. What did I do there? Okay, I must have... Oh, oh I know. Yes, it is 600. I, I left the previous calculation in memory, so that's why I was like, whoa, why is there a decimal number? This is not right. Okay, we don't have any blocks there. So, guys, in the next episode, we're going to start some new research and maybe get some more batteries out or maybe we'll start saving titanium for new... the new battery... I don't know, I haven't quite decided that yet, but if you like this video and you like the series, go ahead and like the video. If you want to see more Fortress Craft Evolved, subscribe. I'm putting videos up whenever I can. Um, I know I've been uploading them slowly, but I'm trying to get back into a quick upload. And join me in the next episode. Thank you all for watching.